Hey guys, Christina here for a quick tutorial on using the Pico projector and how to troubleshoot when the image doesn't fit the cookie properly. So we use the LED packet projector we purchased on Amazon, which we'll link in the description. But these tips should apply to most Pico projectors. So the first thing I do is I load the image onto the memory card. But I usually will turn the image upside down so that when we put it in the projector, it shows it's right side up. So I went ahead and flipped it and just go ahead and put it into my memory card. Just gonna replace it. And now we'll go ahead and put it into our projector and um, go ahead and start our outline. Okay, so now we have the image and I'm gonna go ahead and put my cookie over it and as you can see, the image does not cover the cookie entirely. So what I usually do is I will go ahead and push the cookie all the way to the edge of where you would want icing to see where the gap is between the image and the cookie. That looks like about a quarter inch, but if you want to get technical, you can use a ruler and you can do this two ways. You can measure the difference between the image and the edge of the cookie that's about a quarter inch or you can just measure your cookie entirely and this happens due to spread your cookie spreading which our cookies actually do spread a little which we're totally okay with but i know everyone has their own preferences and i can do another tutorial to talk about things you can do with your dough to prevent spreading Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure my cookie. So that's about four inches tall, and the widest part is about three and a half inches wide. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this image and I'm actually gonna go back onto the computer and adjust the dimensions and bring it back. Okay, so now we're on the computer and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the image, and I really don't do anything crazy complicated or technical. I just use pages to adjust the image size. And you can use Word if you don't have Apple. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the image. And under format is where you're gonna adjust the size of the image. You wanna make sure that you uncheck the constraint proportions so that you're able to adjust the height and width however you like. So I said it was about a quarter inch difference of width so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this, the, just the width. So it's about 5.82 and now after I adjusted it I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot the image and to screenshot you're just gonna go ahead and hit Shift Command 4 and you're gonna see the little cross with the circle populate. And you're gonna go ahead and click and drag to cover whatever image you want selected. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just rename it just so it's easier to find the memory card. Put it back in the memory card and then we'll go ahead and do our outline. Okay, so I went ahead and selected the image and I went to compare it to the cookie. And as you can see, it's not a perfect fit. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the height of the stand just to make it a little smaller because it's a little wider in the ears than I would like. Just make it a little shorter. Okay. So this pretty much works for me. The face is, the head is the main important part for me. Now, I don't necessarily need icing to cover the entire cookie, and this is also a preference. So it depends if you really want the entire cookie covered or not, you might have to adjust the image a little more, but I'm good with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the outline, and I use the um, Food Doodler food coloring marker that you can also purchase on Amazon and we'll link it below as well. And I usually use the color marker of the color icing that I will use. So 
gonna go ahead and start, and, and you can see here in the ears it's not perfect, and I'll just have to adjust as I go. Just oh. I tend to try not to use black marker just because I'm scared of the lading of the marker to get into the icing. So I'll use brown if there's ever black. So now here you can see the ears aren't exactly perfect, perfectly aligned. So I'll just go ahead and adjust it and freehand. And to the other side. Now I won't outline the eyes because the eyes and the nose I put on the top layer and that's something that you can either use the projector to do the icing or you can, once your icing is completely dry, then you can use edible marker with the projector to do the outline again, it's whatever you prefer. Now here in the body you can see that there is a difference in cookie and image and I'm okay with that and it depends if you are okay with it or not. If you wanted the body to cover the full cookie, you can always adjust the projector. So you can put it back up, you can move it around, and if you see here, that covers the cookie more. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it back. See, it's kind of blurry, so I'm gonna adjust the focus a little bit just because I can't see the feet. That is pretty much it. I'm just gonna move the cookie next to the image just so you can see the outline. It's just really a simple outline. And it's, it's your preference. Do you want the entire cookie to be covered in icing? Then you can adjust the image width and height, or you can adjust the height of the stand that holds the projector up. It's really what you prefer, but I, what I wanted to do was just to show you how to troubleshoot when the image that you have doesn't fit your cookie. And that's really just using a simple software, you know, Pages or Word to adjust the size of the image and, and go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions, any feedback about the tutorial. To be honest, I was very nervous about doing this. Um, we really hope to do more tutorials like this, so please let us know below what other type of tutorials you, you would like us to do. Thank you so much.